Hi guys, this is Gary Harbaugh. I'm a region captain up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm making this short video to help you uh, have an effective booth at a trade show or fair. I've got a picture on my screen. Uh, hopefully you can see that with the uh, trade show booth we did recently. I've got four points I want to talk about real quickly. You might want to make some notes. Uh, this will help you to have an effective trade booth. Uh, the first thing I point out is uh, on the table here we have a lot of materials. If you're going to do an effective booth you need to have lots of materials. We had some flyers and some stand-up holders so people could see them. We had paper petitions here and on a box over here that made it easier for people to sign. We had a printed out copy of Article 5 with the pertinent par parts of it highlighted. Uh, other um, flyers and brochures, several pop pocket constitution copies as well as some buttons to give to people who signed the petition. Because this was a gun show, we had a couple guns on display there. Just to make sure uh, people knew that uh, you know we're we're at a gun show. Uh, so the first thing is make sure you got plenty of materials. You can use paper petitions, or you can have a laptop there, and that might be an easier way. So you don't have to enter the data uh, again later on. But even if you have a laptop, I suggest you have paper petitions. Uh, so that you can be working with more than one person at a time. Number two point to make is this. You notice we have some a uh, couple of big banners here. One banner is a standard convention of states banner that you can order uh, from National. The other one is a banner that we had made uh, for doing trade shows. Uh, you can see this is very visible. Highlights are three areas about limiting spending, term limits, and limiting federal power. Uh, the guy who's hosting the booth is the guy here in the middle. He made this uh, stand out of PVC. Uh, at the base of these two posts is a section of heavy-duty, I think it's three-quarter inch plywood that he clamped to the table. Makes a very effective way to get those banners up where people can see them. Putting a banner on the front of the table is not that effective because people standing in front of it kind of block it. People can't see it. Get those banners up where, where people can see them. Uh, the other thing is that uh, number two is the banners. Number three is be in front of the table. This is of critical importance. Uh, one of the things you notice is banners are clamped to the table. Uh, you can move the table back a couple of feet to keep more room in front of it so you don't block an aisle if you need to do that. But uh, these banners are going to block you if you're behind the table. If you're going to engage people, you've got to be out in front of the table. Um, one of the things you should have for materials, you should have a lot of business cards, either the ones from National that have the Convention of States address, uh, that is website address, or maybe some of your own business cards that have that website address. So people who don't want to stop and take the time to maybe sign, Give them that so they've got something to take with them so they can go online and sign the petition. Uh, the fourth point I want to make is that if you want to engage people, you need to ask questions. Uh, so as people pass by, you can ask them, uh, are you happy with the federal government? Uh, are you happy with the way the government spends your money? Uh, things like that. That will get people's attention. And, you know, if you ask a question, people are inclined to give you an answer. Another great question to ask is, have you signed uh, the Convention of States petition yet? So the logical response to that is they're going to say, well, what is that? They don't know. So it gives you a great opportunity to engage with people. One of the things I love about this picture is that uh, Ed was here engaging with a guy who just happened to be passing by. At the end of the conversation, this guy wanted to shake Ed's hand and, and thank him for the work he was doing. This was not a staged photo. I just happened to catch the moment with this photograph. But uh, one of the things it catches is the fact that you will have a good time um, meeting people, speaking to people, and you're going to have a great opportunity to engage with people and uh, present a friendly face, uh, a friendly environment, be willing to talk to people who want to talk, people who don't, try to get them to take a business card or some other literature so that they have something in hand that they can refer to later. Uh, great opportunity to get face-to-face, eyeball-to-eyeball with people. If you have questions on how to be effective with trade show booth, feel free to give me a call. 
You can find me on Slack or connect with me in some other way. Uh, but anyway, get out there and do those shows. It's a great way to get petition signatures and a great way to connect with people. Thank you. Thanks for all you do for Convention Estates. And maybe I'll see you at a show or online uh, or maybe at a Convention Estates uh, activity. I'd love to connect with you.